Hi, my name is Alexandru and today I'm going to talk about ICOs. ICO means Initial Coin Offering and it means when you start developing a new cryptocurrency and especially a new technology for cryptocurrencies, you want to receive a value of your cryptocurrency. So ICO it is exactly like an IPO, an Initial Public Offering, when you start publishing an option for people to buy your cryptocurrency, to receive a value. In order to do an ICO, you need to do three things. First, you need to present and create a white paper. A white paper uh, represents a PDF file when you describe the concepts that are behind your new disruptive technology. Second, you need to develop the technology or to start developing the technology. You can fork a different project, a previous cryptocurrency as a starting point and then you start developing with other people, other developers, your new model, your new cryptocurrency solution. And third, you need to do marketing in order to make people be aware of your new cryptocurrency. So in order to do marketing, you have to do a website, you have to publish about your website, you need to do social media, you can talk about on Reddit about your cryptocurrency and mostly to raise awareness that you are developing this new cryptocurrency technology describing how it's gonna change the world and how it's gonna be useful so the main idea is that you are developing something new and people, some of them, want to invest in this new cryptocurrency that you are developing with the purpose and with the idea that your cryptocurrency will may change the world, will disrupt bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies. Because in, I don't see bitcoin as the leader in the next 20 or 30 years and I'm very sure that a new technology, a new distributed cryptocurrency technology we're going to surpass Bitcoin because I truly don't believe that Bitcoin is the perfect solution for cryptocurrency and this is the reason why people are willing to invest in your cryptocurrency idea because maybe your idea will be better than Bitcoin or maybe the technology that you are developing for your cryptocurrency it's better than Bitcoin and can become very successful. People want to invest in IPOs, on stock exchange and on Bitcoin because they believe in the company they, they are doing over there. They are investing and with the purpose that their funds, that they, their investment will be used in order to scale and to become more profitable. Most of the ICOs they fail. They fail because they don't come with any kind of disruptive technology behind. The main purpose of doing the ICO is to bring to the world something new because the people want to invest in something new, something that can become scalable. So this is the reason why you are calling for the ICO because you just want some funds as a startup, as a community, as an organization in order to continue and to pursue to transform your idea, your innovative idea from cryptocurrency into a really successful um, you know, startup and into a very successful cryptocurrency that is changing the world. People are investing in ICOs uh, because they are aware that some of them they have very good technology, they have very good background and they can scale up you know, exponentially and some of them they have even chances to beat great cryptocurrencies like Ethereum or Bitcoin itself. I mean I don't see Bitcoins in next in 20 years, in 30 years I don't see Bitcoin. I, I, I definitely see a new cryptocurrency that we're gonna have a breakthrough technology behind that are gonna you know disrupt bitcoins and the current technology itself. So in order to do the ICO, the initial coin offering, you need to start with the idea, with the white paper. In order you can see other projects, other ICO online, so you can type ICO uh, profitability or something like that, and you can see the ICO tracker. 
and shows a list of other ICOs and it is very great uh, because you can see other projects if they have done successful or not and uh, there are a lot of projects and lots of ICOs and you can see over here that some of them have checked white paper the white paper is a document, it's a PDF file uh, that shows uh, the, the document, what the project is doing, how it's doing, what's the technology behind. Uh, for example, this one actually doesn't look very interesting, it shows more a project. So the main idea with ICOs is that, that we're building and developing a new cryptocurrency technology. Uh, let's say blockchain technology. And this one is not really that type of stuff. It's more like let's raise funds with ICOs and so on. But you get the big picture. We need to create a document, a white paper that describes the project. And keep in mind that the Bitcoin white um, white paper uh, was just like one or two or three pages. Uh, and it's fine. Yeah, it was, ah, it was nine pages, sorry. It was nine pages. Right? This is the original Satoshi Nakamoto uh, white paper. So you can see over here was a little bit of math and even a little bit of implementation. The implementation is actually very bad, it doesn't care. But you can see that it's really put more technical that describes the project. So after you have the white paper and you have identify the solution for a problem then you start developing the technology that's very important you start developing the software because cryptocurrency is not only a website it's a technology it's a decentralized cryptocurrency algorithm solution so for example you can search uh, one it's super simple github so most of those projects are Hosted on GitHub, there are also other Git repositories and uh, source code. And for example, Ethereum. You just search GitHub Ethereum, and uh, you can see over here there are a little of 121 repositories, but the, the main one is Go Ethereum. Not sure I didn't uh, go into Ethereum, but uh, this is the Go implementation of the Ethereum protocol, and you can see there have been about 172. Um, people who had been worked over here and you can see the source code different kind of uh, subfolders of the for example this is the Ethereum client this is written in Go and so you can see there has been a lot of work over here and if we search on other projects uh, Starbase let's take Starbase I'm not sure what Starbase is and Okay, we visit their websites, and uh, there must be a GitHub somewhere. If they don't have a GitHub, they don't have a project, <laughs> pretty much. So let's, they have a GitHub. Let's check what is on their GitHub. So they have 12 uh, repositories. It's interesting. So probably it's this star. They have 18 comments. So if they have 18 comments, it's not done. They just started. They started a little bit over there. Yeah, it started quite a long time ago, but it's not enough. I mean, they uh, they just created the basic. It's in GS. It's in not GS. That's good, but they only started and not sure if their their project is working. So yeah, it's very important to start a project because that's what you are offering. You are offering the new cryptocurrency. It's initial cryptocurrency, new cryptocurrency offering. So you are building and offering a new cryptocurrency. You have to develop the cryptocurrency. And third, you have to build a website. You know, we have seen a few of them and we can pick another one. Let's pick this one and um, yeah, you have to build the website, do marketing of the website. You know, the website might be quite interesting for people to trust in you. And then you have to present your team who is developing the project. But the most important is that the GitHub, because you are developing a technology and the technology must be open source, because that means Bitcoin and cryptocurrency must be open source. 
and you know you have to uh, to have a lot of people working on your project. That's very very important. Uh, you know to uh, to work on your project and uh, to develop project and so on. And uh, yeah, and do marketing. So in order to do marketing, you just you know publish and describe your project, describe your paper, your white paper on different forums, on Reddit, on different Bitcoin. Uh, you know, platforms where people they gather over there and they discuss different projects, different ICOs, different solutions, different implementations. You can start different channels on Slack, on uh, you know, on GitHub, or, in, or or anything. Just you know, tell tell and talk about your really great project. And you know, if you have something really great, you know, people will be interested in investing in your technology, in your cryptocurrency technology, and do an ICO, an initial coin offering. Thank you and have a nice time.